Everybody knows how some top companies are engaging in mass layoffs. Referring to the same scenario, one of you asked me if an actuary's job is secure. So I started to think widely on the area of job security as an actuary and I could categorize my thoughts into three different perspectives. Number one is that in these times of macroeconomic uncertainty, it is difficult to promise job security. Second perspective is that there are not enough high skilled actuaries as compared to their demand. Hence, high skilled actuaries are always in demand. And the third perspective is that if a computer can replicate an actuary's job at a lower cost, then why would companies not lay off actuaries and replace them with computers? Hi actuarial questers, how are you all? I am Anchal, a life insurance actuary who also shares actuarial gyan on YouTube. Today we are going to explore the thoughts around actuarial job security. We will get to know if an actuary's job is secure given the current layoff situation. We will also know if AI and automation can be a potential threat to actuary's job. And finally, how you can develop yourself to become an irreplaceable actuary. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start with setting some background on the current layoff situation. The global economy is quite uncertain currently. Multiple events are happening one after the other, like the Russia-Ukraine war, the pandemic effects, the failure of huge banks, all of this to such an extent that recession looks like it's on the way. All of these have spiked up the inflation and interest rates, which is not at all good for the investments and businesses. Companies are losing their business value and hence want to save as much money as possible. And laying off employees is simply one way for them to save on the cost. So they use a straightforward cost versus benefit analysis to identify the high salaried but low output employees. Although most of the layoffs that have happened currently are around the tech industry, the question is, can the current macroeconomic situation cause similar layoffs or similar job insecurity in the actuarial profession as well? So the top liner to this would be that actuarial profession is reasonably stable if you compare it to other professions. And the reason is that actuaries are almost always in demand. An economy would always need pension and insurance. Companies would always need actuaries to, to help them deal with future uncertain risk. Interestingly, during economic uncertainty, when new risks are evolving, the demand for actuaries rises even more. For example, since 2020, the whole new pandemic risk occurred when insurance companies were facing multiple challenges all at the same time, like unexpected increase in claims, increase in policy lapses and surrenders because people did not have money to pay premium and to add on to their problems, the market value of their assets and investments fell significantly. And post that, once COVID started settling in and people started getting back on track with their income, they realized the importance of insurance products and the sales and popularity of health insurance products, especially those with COVID coverages, and also the demand for life insurance products spiked up. And most of the increased sales occurred through online portals as people were not stepping out of their house during the COVID and preferred online contactless transactions. Actuaries are the heroes who let the companies adapt to the changing patterns and potentially also save them from being insolvent during such difficult situation by studying the data and then suggesting the best risk management strategy, the best investment strategy and product design strategy so that the company never goes out of money to pay its policyholders even during a COVID-like situation. Similarly, during the Russia-Ukraine war and the implied effects of inflation and market failure, the demand for actuaries has increased even more, not just in the insurance sector, but also in the banking sector. Let me tell you how. The current situation has made the company's balance sheet extremely volatile. On asset side, the investments of the company are losing their market value. Hence, there is uncertainty on how they will pay the insurance claims arising. On the liability side, its claims and expenses have also become uncertain. Expenses have clearly increased due to inflation and claims have also increased and become unpredictable. 
and since people don't have much money lapses and surrender rates are also increasing and this whole balance sheet volatility and uncertainty if not managed well can lead to business interruptions the expertise that actuaries have from studying the past and building models to project the future and through that identifying all wide areas of risk that the company is exposed to and calculating the potential financial impact if those risks occur and then finally advising the most accurate solutions that protect the company from being shut the value of all such expertise have increased 10 times under the current scenario and do you know why the silicon valley bank failed it failed due to its balance sheet volatility itself its assets which were mostly bonds lost their market value because of the rising interest rates and its liabilities due to the market panic its investors the big startup companies that had deposited their money into the bank started withdrawing their funds from the bank to meet the withdrawals the bank had to sell its assets at low value and hence it ran into losses and got shut this is an example of asset liability modeling and managing liquidity risk in which actuaries have the expertise the bank simply failed because they did not hire an actuary they even didn't have a risk management team hopefully other banks will learn from this mistake and the demand for actuaries will rise in banking sector as well so all in all while the demand for other professionals reduces with economic slowdown the demand for actuaries rises so once companies are done laying off techies first thing that they will do is hire more actuaries but you should take this fact with a pinch of salt because as i said earlier job security is not promised if an insurance company or any financial service company that hires actuaries runs into operational issues or just cannot meet its expenses then obviously it may lay off actuaries or it might stop its operations or sell its business which would obviously imply loss of actuarial jobs but high skilled actuaries will be the last one to lose their jobs even if they do they'll be able to secure another job for them quickly because high skilled actuaries are always in demand as the market and population is emerging the needs patterns lifestyle are evolving actuaries are needed to design and innovate new products also companies are being challenged with new evolving risks like climate change risk cyber risk pandemic risk risk of recession and risk of natural calamities actuaries can help companies to stay prepared to face such risks and hence high skilled actuaries who can think out of the box are hugely in demand now how can you become a high skilled actuary we will talk about the five skills that you should develop to always be an in demand actuary first clear your actuarial exams as early as possible and become a qualified actuary because the skills and knowledge that you develop from studying for the actuarial exams creates a lot of value second always try to understand the big picture around your day to day actuarial work as in why you are doing what you are doing and how does your work impact the organization always be curious and ask questions from people around you just don't do the bare minimum of following manual instructions at work a machine will replace you if you do just the bare minimum take a step up and polish your conceptual understanding third stay up to date with what's happening around the actuarial profession read actuarial magazines follow actuaries on linkedin and you'll get many articles to read and increase your knowledge fourth communication and building network i think i have said it a million times that communication is a key actuarial skill and as you go on up the ladder of actuarial career it's going to become an important part of your job similarly networking with other actuaries helps you gain perspective of what's happening around and what others are doing how your work is relevant to the market as a whole and many times it's an excellent opportunity to get you your next job fifth become friends with technology before it becomes your enemy and replaces you from your job with the growing popularity of chat gpt i think it is clear that ai and automation is the next future if you're doing a manual piece of work and applying no judgment and thoughts of your own then ai will probably make your job redundant 
because it can do a manual piece of work better and faster than you. And actually it's a step ahead because it can learn from the data and improvise itself with time. So as a smart actuary, you should learn to implement technology into your work. Let it do the manual, boring and repetitive part of your job while you can focus on the things that it cannot do, which is critical thinking and applying human judgment and reasoning into your work. So yes, these skills will make you an irreplaceable and well-rounded actuary. And with this, we will end today's video on the note that although a career as an actuary might seem to be quite unpopular and challenging, it is highly valued and never goes out of the demand. I hope this video cleared all your doubts around the question of actuarial job security. Like this video if you found it helpful and for more inspiring and informative videos around actuarial profession, subscribe to the channel. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.